Hey y'all, it's Elizabeth and welcome back to my channel and if you're new, thanks for joining me and I am 29 weeks pregnant today. What? what? Um, last week there was just like a couple things that were minor, really nothing like too crazy or uneventful, but um, Tuesday I was at a LuLaRoe party, if you don't know what that is, it's like a consultant clothing, like they sell clothes and they're really soft and they're made in America and they're really great. Um, I was at my friend's LuLaRoe party and we were like standing around and I just ate on the way there. I was like standing a lot and then like all of a sudden I started feeling kind of crampy. Am I recording? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, where? Like crampy a little bit and like uh, maybe I had to pee and I felt that same way on, was it Thursday or Friday? Friday. Uh, too. Like I was, I think it's just maybe because I have to pee, like I'm getting... Like, I don't know if it's like Braxton Hicks, because I never had Braxton Hicks with Emmett. It's just like I kind of get like tight and a little achy, and you're kind of like, what is that? It doesn't really hurt. Um, so, and then I have, this might be TMI, well, TMI, um, discharge a lot, which is kind of, I feel like I didn't have this much with Emmett, but it just, it feel it scares me sometimes because it feels so like you're bleeding and stuff and it just like comes out and you're like or pee you know you're like is it which one is it and it it really freaks me out and it just is like all the time and I have some people say they wear pads um which I don't have any so I might just start I have some panty liners maybe just like wearing panty liners and see if that kind of helps just like because it feels like it's a lot and I know it's normal um, I've on this pregnancy group and they've talked about it and stuff but it's just like sometimes it's like a lot a lot and you're just like what is that um so especially when I'm cramping then I feel that I'm like oh what is it so other than that I've been feeling really good lots of movement uh sometimes I'll wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and I'll try to go back to sleep and she just moves 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 and I can't go back to sleep or like this morning I wake up and I try to go back to sleep and she's like moving or when I'm trying to fall asleep she moves um so I'm trying to like uh, I don't know what the word is like really just like stop and think and like I know it probably won't happen um again like my own biological child I thought about doing surrogacy I've talked about that before if um depending on this birth and pregnancy and stuff so I just think like this may be like my last time I'll ever feel like this, so I just try to like enjoy it, enjoy it as much as I can, and all that stuff, and let my husband uh, feel the baby and Emmett feel the baby and stuff like that. And we did get our family pictures done. Um, they weren't returning; they're like holiday from a friend, like a mini session. She's trying to get uh, her photography business kind of going, so she cut us a deal. So I'm excited to get those back, and we did a couple maternities, like Emmett kissed my belly and stuff. So. Um, we will see those. I might not even do a maternity if it's, uh, too much or whatever. I want to, though, so I'll probably do it. Because I love those pictures, like, looking back with Emmett. I love those pictures. And, you know, you're only pregnant for nine months, and it's nice to get on stuff. So that's what I've been trying to, you know, do and enjoy. And just, like, enjoy her growing every day. I look in the mirror, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like, it's just crazy. Because it really feels like... You know, this baby in there and like watching my belly grow and stuff has been really fun. Um, I do have an appointment on Thursday, so I will try to update that in my 30 weeks, like what goes on. I haven't heard about my glucose test yet or my uh, the liver enzymes for the preeclampsia thing. Uh, I check my blood pressure at home and it's usually good or if I'm out. Um, so I know it's like anxiety there. Like I hate it so much. I try not to this time I'm just gonna think about peace sometimes too like acne has been kind of one I know I've like mentioned it I still kind of get breakouts here and there with Emmett like I just had like clear skin until I started my period especially my third trimester my skin really started clearing up but this time around it hasn't so I don't know if it's just because I'm having a girl more hormones I mean who knows so I've been doing uh Rodan and Field still image, and then I started doing active charcoal masks and stuff, so I can do it whenever I've done it for a while. I can like maybe talk about it, but it has been leaving my skin like super soft and super smooth, so that's been cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Other than that, like no swelling, no pressure. It's kind of been smooth sailing this week, which I'm really thankful for. So I'll show you my belly, and thanks for watching, and tune in next week for 30 weeks. 
which I'm in my 30s, that's crazy. <laughs> I keep saying that every week, it's like, it gets crazier and crazier and crazier, but um, yeah, I'm getting there. It's, it's pretty amazing and pretty cool. I'm on the side, and the shirt's a little flowy, so I can tighten it. Um, nice, nice good belly. Um, just kind of getting around. And I've been, I don't know if I said this, I have been measuring on time, like I'm not big or anything, so it's good. There you go.